Welcome back to another episode of Books and Movies Only, please. Today is episode number 15, and we finally hit a huge milestone of the series itself. And today we are going to discuss A to Z Mysteries, The Absent Author. So this is a very famous children's series by Ron Roy. This is the first book of the series, and I'll explain more about like how the series series itself works um, later. So, as the book suggests, this book is about like an uh, this about the disappearance of a famous uh, children's author. So, Dink, who is the main character of this story, he invites his favorite mystery author, Wallace Wallace, to his small town of Greenlaw green lawn when they struggle to come to the book and signing of the talk um they it's okay so i'll give you a hint it's he or she okay, okay so i can't tell you if if the author's a he or she i just wrote he but it can be a she it can be a he i'm not gonna tell you but basically the gender of this author is also an important part of the story itself story itself and can be important part and is an important part of the story so it would be a spoiler if I told you the gender of the author because it's, it's it's kind of important to the story. So he or she tries to when the when uh when he or she like the author itself of struggles to come to the book signing and talk. Um, uh, Dink, uh, Dink, uh, and his friends they try to Dink tries to find and resolve resolve cons- conspiracy conspiracies around his dis- around his, the author's disappearance. I don't know, hey. Um, but it can be a she. You never know. With the u- usual gang of Josh, Ruth, and another new character of this uh, book, he tries to track down Wallace. Wallace. So he uh, so he has many uh, difficulties in the journey, like in like in the story itself. So this book is it has really simple language, but an exciting plot. Not expected by such a book. So for example, like a book like this, like this, the absent author. It's not gonna be as in. It's not gonna be like as interesting the plot like for like older older like kids because the plot isn't that well developed and it's more like a simpler book for young kids so that they can understand easily. But it's 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 a good um book. So for example, a book like this, the Hawthorne Legacy, it's gonna be way more difficult to understand with a higher vocab because it's made for um uh teens and it's more of like uh and this plot's gonna be way more exciting and interesting that's just how it goes with like books so basically um i'll tell you the age rating of this book because i need have because i i want to tell you like uh so, so what is this i keep forgetting the book's name so what's this book uh, the absent author's reading age uh, reading level so i think i don't know i think it's more made for younger kids and children itself but brain brain so it says it, um it's for grade one to four probably makes sense or six to eight years old so one to four is more of the reading level i'd suggest grade one to yeah one to four basically but it's more more a challenge for grade one to three Four, like in grade four, you can read it. I don't know if I see a problem, but grade one to three, as I say, for me, that's where this book goes around. I am in a way old, I'm in middle school, I read this book. I don't know why, but because I'll tell you why I read this book. So, whenever I was a kid, when I was in grade two, grade one, grade three, grade, grade, in grade four and five, uh, whenever I went to the school library or the classroom library, I always saw this book. I don't know, because this book is really popular. I always saw this book. Like everywhere, like I saw it like in every single place. It is in mysteries. I never read it. I don't know why. I, I regret not reading it, but I never read it. So finally, I was like, I want to read this book and see how it is because, it, like, I remember this this exact font. I remember it from so many places and so many, like, books, like so many times. And like in, in the school library, in the classroom library, there always used to be a section for like, uh, this series. And I always wanted to read it, so I finally read it in middle school. I know, but like I just want to read it. I want, I want to see what's so good about this book because I, when I was like a like in grade one to four in elementary school, I saw this book everywhere. So this book is definitely amazing. So I'll tell you another thing about this book. So 
So basically, the title always begins with the letter uh, the. So sorry, sorry. Let me go back. Let me. Yeah. So this book we can the absent author. It begins with the and then something and something. So what what this book goes to? Yeah? And I'll tell you what. So it says A to Z mystery. So with the second letter of this book, like after the. We'll start with a letter corresponding to the alphabet. So A, then there'll be, then C, then D, then E, until Z. So this book goes on and on. So this came out in 1997. And the last book, the last book of the series, The uh, the, uh, the Zombie Zone, it came out in 2005. So basically, there'll be a letter A, say, like a letter A, one book. There'll be another book, C, D. There won't be two books for one letter. There'll be only one book for one letter. So this the series uh, expanded through us uh, eight eight nine year eight nine years, actually no actually yeah eight years and basically now they have super editions more like the authors continue the Ron Roy continues to write and write and they are related the books that he's writing now I think one came out recently too or in a year ago maybe like it's more super editions they they're I guess like even better books of the series but that's how the book goes so there's after the there'll be like the, the book starts with like the ten, intended letter of the alphabet so there's gonna be a book for every letter alphabet there's only gonna be one book for one letter of the alphabet so it goes on to z and the the, the zombie zone came as i said came out in 2005 so uh this book is an amazing series for great as the reading level suggests, grade one to two fours, but I say it's, it's a challenge for grade one to threes. But excellent book. I hope you check it out, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe for another episode. Of course, we'll be coming out for another episode. And, I, and as I said, I was going to tell you who's the best YouTuber of 2022. Well, it's Ryan Trahan. I'll tell you I'll tell you why right now, because his Penny series, I watched it like, month ago the one that came out in 2022 and the one in, uh and he tried to cross america starting from a penny very exciting series i hope you check it out um his channel is um he's a really funny person a comedical person and that, that series itself is really funny i think the series has been coming out it came out the new one this year as well so he's coming back to america the one last year was really good it was a one month one month series and basically it covered like uh he started from LA and he went all the way to the old lever, deliver Mr. Beast one penny. And it's, the series is very funny and it tries to raise awareness in the nations for, I think, uh, a food bank? A yeah, food bank's America or something. Basically, and it's like a fundraiser, sort of. And I thought the series was really funny and interesting. So I hope you check his channel out and check that series itself. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please remember, like, share, subscribe and for another episode which will be coming out soon, soon, soon. I'll be coming out soon, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be coming out soon.